Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn to balance this equation. Right? This is sulfur, this is oxygen, and this is sulfur dioxide. However, to balance this reaction, let me draw a table to make it easier, is it? Well, so in the left side, that is in the reactant side, uh, we have uh, number 8 sulfur and we have 2 oxygen atom, right? Uh, on the right side, we have 1 sulfur atom and we have 2 oxygen atom, right? So, if you compare the number of sulfur atom, then you can see here in the left side you are getting 8 but in the right side you are getting 1. So to balance you can multiply here by 8 then you will get 8 sulfur atom right. But if you put here if you multiply here 8 this 8 will come before sulfur that is here right. So and notice if you place here 8 then the number of oxygen will be changed that is 8 times 2 that is uh, 8 times 2 means uh, uh, 8 times 2, 2 means 8 times 2 means uh, 16 right so in the left side we have only two oxygen so to balance this oxygen we can multiply here by 8 then we will then we'll get 16 oxygen right and this 8 will come before this uh, oxygen that is uh, that is here right so we have to put here 8 so uh, now we can say, uh, see that uh, the number of sulfur is balanced the number of oxygen is balanced okay uh, let me let me do do this reaction uh, in alternative uh, way this is uh, sulfur this is uh, oxygen and we'll get sulfur dioxide right and to balance the number of uh, sulfur right we, we we can take here four right we can take here uh, eight if I put here 8, the number of oxygen will be 8 times 2, 16. To, so, here you have to take 16 oxygen. That is, you have to put here 8. Then you are getting 16 oxygen. So, this equation is balanced. In the examination hall, you have to think like this way. Right? So, thank you for being this video. Be well.